Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is part one of two on the subject of automation editing. In this video, we'll be going over viewing automation, editing automation, drawing in automation. As always, my shortcuts will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. If you need a conversion to PC as I'm using a Mac, you can find that easily online and at the end of this video. Some useful shortcuts, show automation playlist, toggling track view, deleting all automation, and find control over parameters. Well, the first thing we'll go over is looking at how automation is displayed on the different tracks, so how the different lanes are displayed and the differences between them. So there's a difference between continuous controller like volume and um, something like mute. So if we switch this track over to volume, we can see we have the automation line there that represents the fader's position at any moment. So with the grabber tool, I'm gonna put some points on this line create a fade out and that is a continuous it's vector based so it's a continuous smooth moving in and out um, of that fader so that fader moves smoothly in this point it's vector based so we also have let me delete that and let's switch over to mute mute is a switch state it's either on or off so we put in a few points here and I'll drag down and we can see up at the top it's muted at the bottom it's unmuted so that's what a mute state or a switch state would look like. You only have two states that it can be in. We'll look at the API, which is a selectable EQ. Let me open that up. Um, these um, controls, we can only choose a certain frequency. So we can choose 3K or 5K, but we can't choose anything in between. It's one or the other. So it's something called a selectable EQ. So controls like that being automated that have multiple states, but not continuous uh, look stair step like we see here. So it can be different places. So pan on a stereo track, we have a left and a right pan. And on a mono track, only one pan control. So let's look at the mono first. Let me uh, drag up here so we can top is left and down at the bottom is right. So let's see that in action. If I drag it to the left, we see the pan control moves left. If I drag it down to the bottom, it's, see it's pan to the right. If I drag it out here and hit play, we'll see how that pan control moves from one to the other. So continuous there. So on a stereo track, you have again the same thing. You can see that I'm moving the left pan control of the lead synth track, right? To the left or the right. So I delete those. So let's look at another feature, the automation lane. So this little triangle to the bottom left on the edit window, we click on that and we can reveal additional automation lanes and as many as we have automatable parameters. So you can have a lot. Um, so we're looking at volume, but I can change to pan. And one cool thing is you can choose all pan types and see both the left and the right. And this is great if you're working in surround where there's uh, even more uh, controls needed. So I'm gonna pan and swap sides there, hit play, and you can see the pan controls in action. Okay, so let's look at editing automation. If you don't have control service and you have to just graphically edit the automation, the grabber tool is um, your friend in this scenario and what I consider to be the most useful tool and the one that I use the most when graphically editing automation. With the grabber tool, you can add points by clicking on the line and we add a point there and we can also edit points, dragging those points up and down to the left and right. So again, we can add, we can edit, really easily. So if we needed to create a little quick curve to fade out, we can again just add some points and do that. So we can also delete points by using and holding the option modifier and clicking on an existing point, we can delete those points. Sometimes you miss. You can also use the selector tool, select all the points and delete using the delete key. Now there is a difference between deleting and cutting automation and we'll look at that in a little bit. So you can see the grabber is a powerful tool for graphically editing automation. There's just the basic uses of the grabber tool. In our next video, we will look at some more advanced things that you can do with that, some helpful tricks for using the grabber tool and graphically editing automation. Okay, so let's look at the trimmer tool and just one simple little thing. We'll look at a few more advanced features with the trimmer tool in another video. So F6 
get the trimmer tool. So one real cool thing and helpful thing that you can use with the trimmer tool is let's say you have automation like on this electric guitar for the whole track and you just want the whole track to be a little bit lower in volume. So we zoom out here and then we're going to go to the right of the very last break point and click with the trimmer tool and we can drag up and down. In the upper left hand corner of the electric guitar track you see a little black box with white type and that shows you your current value and in parentheses it has the delta symbol and you can see the change. So I'm going to find 2 dB and I'm going to adjust so that I drop this track down by 2 decibels so I can see that I'm making a change of 2 decibels in the volume overall of this track. So again, a really quick and easy way to raise or lower the volume of the track and keep all of your automation, just raise or lower that automation by a certain set amount. All right, next let's look at the pencil tool. So the pencil tool has several different versions and if you click on the pencil tool in the toolbar, you'll see all of these different versions. The bottom two, parabolic and S-curve, are only usable on tempo uh, events and we'll look at those in another video and the next three up random square and triangle we will look at in the next automation video so right now we're just gonna look at freehand and line with freehand you are free to draw in the automation without any restrictions so I've never been very good at drawing in and having it sound the way I want but if it works for you great if I zoom in a little bit I can be a little bit more precise with the mouse but again just not something that works for me very often. But if again it works for you, go for it. Next is the line pencil tool and it does what you think it would do. It draws a straight line. So we can click and drag and across our whole track and get one long straight line. So you can draw a little fade ins, a little fade outs. So real simple where you click and then you can drag where you want the line to end. So very, very simple. All right, next let's look at some basic copy and paste. So I have this key track and I want to copy the automation at the beginning of the track and I want to paste it at the end. So I'm in grid mode and I make my selection and I want to copy this over the end section of this track. So I want to copy it right here. I'm going to copy, so command C. I'm going to select where I want to paste it and command V to paste it. And there we go. We'll look at some more advanced copy paste features in a later video. So that was just a simple copy and paste procedure. And uh, next let's look at the difference between cutting versus deleting automation. So I make this selection and I want to remove all of the breakpoints within this selection. So whether we choose to cut or delete to remove those breakpoints has a drastic difference on the automation that exists after that procedure. So if I were to choose delete right now, it would delete all of these breakpoints. So then what Pro Tools would do, it would have to connect this breakpoint to this breakpoint. Okay, so let's do that. We see how Pro Tools just connected these two breakpoints. So that's uh, one way. Now, if we were to use cut, Pro Tools is going to put in a breakpoint at the boundaries of our selection, therefore preserving the automation before and after. So again, the automation outside the selection will not change at all. The automation inside the selection will connect the breakpoint at the edges together. So we cut and we see how those breakpoints are connected together, but the automation outside that selection unchanged. And compared to delete, we see that those points are connected, so the automation did change a little bit. So the change could be drastic and have major changes, or it could be insignificant whether you delete or cut. So just need to be aware of it. Okay, let's look at one more operation, and that is deleting all automation. So again, this is going to delete all automation, so you need to be careful. Um, oftentimes, I'll get in a mix, and I need to start my mix on a song that someone has already been working on, and there's already some automation that exists. And I want to remove that because I want to start fresh and be able to move faders and volume where I want them. So this is a quick, simple trick to delete all existing automation and start with a clean slate. So what we need to do is show all the tracks, and then we need to make sure that we're showing an automation lane on all tracks. So a fast way that you can toggle between, for example, waveform and volume view is on the selected track or the track that contains the edit selection is use the minus key, and that will toggle between waveform and volume view. Now, if we remember our shortcuts for due to all and due to selected, we can perform this function on all tracks or all the selected tracks. 
Okay, so I'm going to hold down Option and use the minus key to toggle between waveform and volume view. So we'll look at some other shortcuts for toggling the track view in a future video. Okay, back to deleting all the automation. I'm showing all my tracks. I'm showing an automated view on all tracks. I'm going to select the area that I want to delete automation in. In this case, it's the entire track. And I'm gonna use the shortcut, Control Delete key, and all automation is gone. So all automation, pan, mute, send, volume, plug-in. Remember we had this plug-in down here, the API where I showed the stair step thing? That's gone. So all automation is removed whether you see it or not. So we're gonna show all the tracks, show an automation lane, and control delete. That's all, see you next time.